Sorry. Well, we need to focus on continuing to win games uh, and continuing to to perform like uh, like we did on Saturday. I thought we were really solid at defensively on Saturday uh, and created uh, a number of chances and deserved to win the game. And, and those are things that we need to do. There's some real, if you like, six pointers coming up over these last uh, six or seven games. And um, picking up points at home is, is a critical part of that, of getting in the top four. I wish I could explain it. If I could explain it, I'd fix it quicker. I, I just think, you know, when I look at this Houston game um, and other games, is that we we end up dominating games for spells, but we we then give away give away goals. And this league is tight, and if you're chasing games, it's really really difficult. And we seem to often this year put ourselves in positions where we're, we're chasing games or or not getting away from teams to just give us that little bit of leeway. And and sometimes it just happens. I, I really, you know, as I say. Um, wish I had a, a specific answer that could say, you know, bang, this is a cure. But uh, it's down to probably quite a few factors. And, um, you know, one is scoring goals when we're, we're ahead. Uh, being really switched on defensively uh, with our concentration when there's spells in the game, when we're, um, when we're sort of under pressure. And, and if we can do those two things right, we know we can win games. We know we've got players who can score goals. Very much so, and I think you saw that on Saturday. I mean, this was a very difficult road trip, particularly after Wednesday's game when, you know, you, you lose a game that's against a team that's, you know, not out the, the the top four race, but struggling to be in the top four race. Um, and then you have to go and play at the, the Utah Altitude with a team that hadn't lost in uh, six games at home. So it was a very difficult ask, and, you know, the team did terrifically to to get up for that game and perform like they did. Yeah, very important, particularly hadn't given up many goals at home. Uh, I think they may be given up three goals at home in seven games. So it's uh, that that's good, it's good for the confidence. And we could actually probably should have scored two or three more. <laughs> and so uh, if we can just sort of get one of these games, a breakout game where we actually take our chances, I think that would be a great confidence booster for us. Well, so again, we talk about it's a game that we, we must go out there to win. and and. It's a game against a, a very good team. There's, there's not much in it um, between top and bottom in this league, but there's even less in it between the teams that are, you know, from second to six or seven. Um, and Seattle's got a team that's, again, very experienced, players that are used to success, um, high quality international players. So they're, they're, this will be, a, again, another real test for us. Uh, arguably, uh, but probably then the game after that becomes the biggest game. So I think it's, it's a run in, you know, we get a, it's one of those where, you know, we get good results over the next two games. It really puts us in a fantastic spot. If we don't, then, you know, every game after that becomes really, really critical. Yeah, they've, they've got, well, I mean, basically, they, if they want to come into training this week, they can, but with them going into the national team camp, it's a, it's a good time for them. You know, they've got a really tough, uh, stressful tournament come up and then coming back to us to play. So it's actually a good time for them to get a few days off and just uh, just relax and get uh, reinvigorated. Huge. I mean, she's played one game, clean sheet. Hopefully two games, two clean sheets. Um, she is, uh, you know, we've said it from the start, she's uh, an NWSL starting goalkeeper. It just happens to be in this situation that we've got Ashlyn Harris. But uh, when I look at the goalkeepers around the league, uh, you know, if, if I wasn't here and needed a goalkeeper, Haley would be top of my list to sign. It's amazing how a bad player can get so many games in the league. It's unbelievable. I don't know who keeps picking her. Um, like she's just fantastic. On and off the field, she's just a perfect teammate, um, perfect professional, supportive of the team, but demanding. Um, works harder than anybody else at training. Works harder than anybody else at the game. Uh, is incredibly dedicated, you know, to the the profession dedicated to the teammates and dedicated to the club. If she wants to, she's got the, the skills for it, she's got the background for it, she's got the temperament for it. Uh, she's probably smarter than that and we'll go into something else. <laughs> but uh, she's certainly got the qualities that would make a great coach.